guys, it's about 1030 at night. I'm getting ready to leave one of my listings. I'm over here with my photographer. He just left a little while ago. We were taking night photos of this house, and I want to show you something really cool. But before I do, I want to show you a little trick, right? So when you walked in the front door of this house, and when I say walked, this house was for sale already. It didn't sell, and there was a lot of reasons for that. But one of the reasons why was it just wasn't putting its best foot forward. So when you walked in, you looked straight ahead, and there was a TV mount, and it was unpainted behind there. So we ended up with a prop TV, all right, this is not real. This is a, a fake TV. It didn't even come with hardware. I had to take like a plastic bag and uh, and wrap it to, to hang up there. But I think it looks good compared to what was there before. And I'm going to show you this really quick. So one of the best features of this house in particular was this backyard. And that's why I had Jim. Can't really tell with this dim camera I have. Wait till you see the pictures that Jimmy does. So this pool has a textured dark blue uh, rock pebble surface. And then I was over here, I bought all these lights and I was controlling them with an app and we're shooting them up on the house and change. Just wait till you see what this looks like when it's done. And I really felt like the market is turning and we had to put our best foot forward in order to get this house sold for top dollar. And that's the point I want to make with this video, guys, I think the market is getting ready to become very challenging. The number of sales is down 40%. Interest rates are about to go up another possibly 1%. They're currently 6.7. So they're saying maybe 2023, 8% interest rates. And just think about this. If you have a 2.7, 3.5% interest rate, you want to sell your house and buy another one, and you're going to jump up to an 8, 8.5% interest rate. I don't even want to speak about what that's gonna mean for a payment, especially if you're trying to buy a bigger house, I think it's gonna be catastrophic in many ways. So if you're thinking about selling your house, or you know anybody who is, who's on the fence, I suggest you get them off the fence. I would love the opportunity to talk to them, but my advice is if you have an investment property, rental property, give them five grand, tell them to get out because you're gonna sell the house and incentivize them. And uh, let's get it sold because I feel like it's it's going to be tough for a while. I think the Washington, D.C. market is never going to be dead. We're always going to have people relocating here for work. So I don't think we're going to have any of a of a crash. But I think it's going to be, I'm trying to remember the word Tim and I were using today, like a, a stagnant market. I can't remember the word, but it's going to be rough for a while. I think things are going to slow down quite a bit. So that's it, guys. If you're looking for somebody who's going to come out here with a fake TV, put up some spotlights to get your house sold, replace all the light bulbs, do some landscaping, paint the front door, put some mums out there, get this house sold. That's what it takes, guys. But if you're thinking that about selling or buying, you're on the fence, my suggestion is you need to make a move. You need to go ahead and um, do whatever it takes to get your house sold right now because... I think next year is not better than this year. Tomorrow is not better than today. But for this guy, it is because his house is going to sell. It's Brian Mayer with the Mayor Group of EXP Realty. Make it a fantastic day.